Hi guys, so it is officially two days away from my surgery. It's Tuesday and my surgery is on Thursday and we're actually just getting ready to leave right now um, because my doctor is in LA in Beverly Hills so we're gonna be driving down there probably get there later tonight um, but I'm super excited obviously I'm a little nervous just for like the actual procedure but I'm super excited for the results I have to finish packing right now and put everything in the car I don't know how long I'm gonna make this vlog because I am going back to LA two times this week so I don't know if I'm gonna still be vlogging the second time I go yeah I'm just excited to see what they're gonna look like so I'm actually filming using this tripod I just bought it the other day on Amazon for my phone because um, I don't have a camera and I don't know if I'm gonna get one like I said I'm just kind of doing this for fun so I don't really know where it's gonna go but yeah don't mind how messy my room is like I said I do have to finish packing so here's my suitcase right here I have my back pillow that I'm gonna be bringing and all my clothes are already in there my neck pillow and I have to pack like some of my makeup and stuff over there and like my skincare products all right so we're in the car on the way to LA right now it's like 3 p.m so we should be there around like And I thought I would just do like a quick hotel room tour before we start to like unpack and move all our stuff in. So let me show you guys around. This is where you walk in and then the closet's on this side over here. And then right there is the bathroom. And it's pretty cute. It has like little palm trees. Looks like this. Moving out, you see the rest of the room. So this is what it looks like. And we already kind of unpacked some of our stuff. So that's why you see like all my pillows on the bed and stuff. A mirror right here and TV. We have like a fridge and a microwave and stuff. Let me show you guys the view. I'm pretty sure the doctor's office is that building right there. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it might be. That's pretty much it. I'm just gonna like take a shower, unpack some of my stuff and go to bed now. So that's pretty much what the room looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the camera again tomorrow. I do have my post-op appointment um, tomorrow afternoon. So before we're probably gonna like go to the grocery store and get some food just so we can have something to eat like in the room after my surgery. But yeah, this is like the best lighting in the room. So if I'm filming here a lot, that's why. <music> The next morning and we already went to the grocery store and got ready but it's like 10 30 right now and my appointment isn't until three this afternoon so we have some time to kill i think we might go to the mall I'm not really sure yet but i'm gonna bring you guys with me i don't know how long my appointment's gonna take i think we might be there a while because i'm gonna pick like the size that i want to do i'm really excited my doctor's office is literally that building right there it's just across the street as you can see so that's actually perfect we didn't even realize that we thought it was like a block away but yeah it's literally right across the street so we don't even have to drive or anything so we're back at the hotel we're about to leave to go to my pre-op appointment I ended up getting this little mini candle from anthropology where we went shopping we went to the grove and westfield like century city mall appointment and i got to choose what size i wanted to do and i'm actually so excited now because i saw like what it would look like on my body and it's perfect like it's exactly what i wanted so i'm so excited for tomorrow i was a little bit nervous like when we were walking into the building because i was like now it's like real like so i was getting a little bit of anxiety but honestly i'm gonna be fine i already have a good feeling about it i'm not really gonna have time to even like be nervous or anything because tomorrow my surgery is literally at 6 30 in the morning so I'm literally just gonna wake up, get ready, take a shower, and go. And then by that point, I'll already be like about to have my surgery. So I won't even have time to like overthink it, which is good. We're just kind of sitting in the hotel now. I don't really know what we're gonna do because we already went shopping, we already ate. So it's like kind of just worried. I'm like, can I just go get my surgery already? Because <laughs> there's nothing else to do. I'm super excited, and they already looked really good when I was like trying on this size. Just got back from dinner and pretty much just gonna go to bed in a little bit it's already like eight o'clock and like i said i do have to wake up at like 
5 in the morning tomorrow because I have to wash my hair and take a shower before I go. I'm still pretty calm. Like, I'm not really nervous at all. But yeah, so I'll go ahead and talk to you guys tomorrow. It's finally surgery day. It's 6 o'clock right now and I already took a shower and got ready. So we're just kind of waiting until we walk over there. I'm still feeling pretty calm. I just wish I could drink some water because I'm not allowed to drink or eat anything. Yeah, I'm getting ready to head into surgery. Back from my surgery, I'm currently in the hotel room. It went really well. Everything went perfectly. I literally, like, once I got in the operating room, I fell asleep within, like, a couple of minutes. And then I woke up and I was like, oh, you guys are already done. But, like, it was super quick. Then they, like, wheeled me across the street and up to my hotel room in a wheelchair, which was super embarrassing. But whatever. And I'm currently just sitting here kind of relaxing. They are, like, a little sore. That's the only thing. Um, and I'm feeling sore, like around like my underarms and kind of like the top of my ribs but that's normal so yeah i'm pretty much just gonna be sitting here um resting for the rest of today and then tomorrow i do have my post-op appointment in the morning also checking out and going back home as well i wasn't able to film like any clips in there because i did have to um like leave my phone with the rest of my stuff and i couldn't have like anything with me obviously so yeah, that's why I didn't get any footage. I can tell like they already look really good just from what I can see. I don't want to take off like the little bra that they gave me or anything just because I'm kind of scared that I'm going to see like blood and that's going to freak me out. But they are going to like change the tape and stuff tomorrow at my post-op appointment. And then like I said, I do come back in about a week for my one week post-op appointment. It's been a couple hours. I took like a little nap. Honestly, feeling really good. Obviously going to keep like resting and trying to relax and stuff but i can like walk around i'm like getting up going to like grab stuff obviously like not doing too much but yeah i'm feeling really good and i took off my little jacket so i'm gonna try to show you guys but don't mind how messy it is in the background and also the windows are open so it might be a little loud but this is what it looks like so literally all i'm wearing is just this bra and it's not padded at all it's just like a thin bra and it just zips down the front so i can even take it off if i want to but I'm not going to because I don't want to see like the tape underneath. But I do have like marker on me. Um, that's what these like lines and dots are from where they were marking me before my surgery. I'm just gonna pretty much stay in the hotel for the rest of the night. Yeah, I just have my post op tomorrow and then we're heading home. But like I said, I am sore um, mostly more on this side because this side I did get a bigger implant. So my right side I got 415 cc's and my left side I got 355 cc's because um, this one was naturally bigger anyway. So that's why we went with two different sizes. I'm doing like my arm exercises, I can lift my arms above my head and everything. And that on my arm is just where they had like the IV. So I did want to just mention that they obviously are still swollen. I mean, I had my surgery literally this morning. I pretty much got the biggest size I could for my body and like what fits me. That's pretty much what they look like. And they just fit my body, my shape perfectly. They're only gonna continue to look even more natural as they heal and stuff. I'm thinking of all the cute outfits that I'm gonna wear once they're fully healed. And it'll be perfect timing because it's gonna be like summertime um, since it is March right now. So they'll be healed by like June. And once I pop out, I'm gonna be looking so snatched, you guys. I can't wait. This is just the beginning. The size really just fits me perfectly and it like evens me out. It makes me really proportionate, so I'm so happy. The only thing is that I'm just like feeling pretty sore in my ribs, like my upper ribs right here. But I did just take some medicine, so um, that will help with that. And I just wanted to come on here and mention that. It's the next morning right now, and we're about to head to my first post-op appointment. And they are feeling a little bit more sore today, but I think it's just because now that it's been like a full 24 hours, the anesthesia is like pretty much completely worn off. And it's mostly sore like underneath kind of my upper ribs, like I was saying yesterday. But that's just because that's where the incisions were. It's just like a feeling of soreness, nothing painful, um, still bearable and everything. And I'm still like moving around like I got ready and stuff this morning. I'm just gonna go to my post-op appointment and then pretty much head home after that. I'm back at home. As you can see, I got home yesterday and the last thing I vlogged was like right before my post-op appointment. And that appointment was actually really quick. I think I said yesterday that they were gonna take like the tape off, but they're actually not gonna do that until next week, my one week post-op. So today is currently Saturday and my next post-up appointment is on Wednesday. So I'm just gonna be flying down to LA for the day. So yesterday they basically just kind of like 
made sure everything was okay and I answered all the questions that I had and stuff so it was a pretty quick appointment I pretty much just been like resting but today I woke up and I felt really good like I was able to like unpack I made myself breakfast but yeah you guys I'm only two days post-op and I'm already feeling this good so far the healing process has been super easy just end the vlog here because I did get a lot of footage over the last couple of days let me know if I should film like an updates video or like a QA and a in a couple months once they're fully healed but yeah that's all I have to say for this video I'll see you guys in my next one